welcome back to my channel by Kim by world in today's video i'll be discussing the differences between the 80s and the 70s ribosome the 80s ribosome they are found in the eukaryotes okay if i talk about the uh, in which uh, organism they occur the eukaryotic organisms are having the 80s ribosome whereas the prokaryotes are having the 70s ribosome when I talk about the size, what is the size difference between them? 80s are larger in comparison to that of the 70s and they are made up of two units, the 60s and the 40s. S basically stands for the Swedberg unit and it is the basically the segmentation coefficient. Okay, in comparison to the uh, 70s, they are having two subunits termed as 50s and the 30s. Now the ribosome, they are made up of two parts, the RNA part that is the ribosomal RNA part and the protein part. They both combine to form a ribosome. If I talk about what are the types of the ribosomal RNA found in the ATS, there are four types. Namely as 28S, 18S, 5.8 and 5. In comparison to this, the 70s is having three types okay 23 type 16s type and 5s okay now the next question arises in which in what proportion these ribosomal rna and proteins come together to form a ribosome in case of the ats 40 percent of the ribosome is ribosomal rna and 60 percent are ribosomal proteins in case of the prokaryotes, it gets reversed. 60% is ribosomal RNA and 40% is ribosomal proteins. Okay, the next big question is where are they localized? The ATS are usually attached to the outer surface of the nucleus and endoplasmic reticulum. Okay, most of them. Some are also found in the free as well. Okay, most are attached to the outer surface of nucleus and endoplasmic reticulum. Whereas in case of the 80, 70s, we all know that prokaryotes are not having an intact nucleus, they are, uh, they are not having endoplasmic reticulum and uh, other organ leads as well. So the localization of the 70s in the, is in the free in the cytoplasma. They are not attached uh, to nucleoid, which we say, and they are okay, free, free in the cytoplasm. They are found in the cytoplasm. Okay, now in which organisms, like I already told that ATS are found in eukaryotes, they, they, can, they are found in plants, they are found in animals, they are found in fungi and other unicellular eukaryotes with a nucleus. They are having ATS. Whereas in case of the 70s, they are found in bacteria and archaea. Okay, now uh, just a little bit about the structure, pictorial representation of the structure. We are having one larger subunit. Okay, and a smaller subunit. These two subunits come and bind together to form a ribosome to synthesize a protein from an mRNA. The largest subunit in case of the eukaryotes is the 60s, and the smallest subunit in case of the uh, uh, eukaryotes is 40s. Together combine to form an ATS ribosome. Okay, whereas in case of the prokaryotes, these largest subunit is the 50s. And the smaller subunit is a 30s. They combine, they come together, they join together at the time of the formation of the, uh, the protein. Okay. And they lead to the synthesis of a 70s ribosome. That was all. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please like, subscribe and share.